Happy New Year everybody 2023. I'm Elfidia Rara of Elemental Beings in Scotland and this is Sheer Ling. So if you've been following me for a long time, I've been doing this pretty much maybe for a decade since we became guardians of Sheer Ling, who is a think, but I can't 100% confirm it, but I think Shearling is the largest Merlinite crystal skull in the world. Now Shearling has been bringing forward these year ahead forecasts and lots of my customers listen back from maybe in November to look at what Shearling has said and he is incredibly accurate with his predictions. So you are here with me 2023 so I invite you to listen with an open heart and to drop into that heart space rather than being in your analytical mind, just be in the heart space. And it's not only the words that I channel through the crystal skulls, it is their tones and frequencies that they bring through in my voice and in any telepathic communication in any still points. Okay, so get yourself grounded. I'm just realising I should have had a pillow at my back because he can channel for quite a while. <laughs> There's usually a good 10 minutes that he speaks for. So I will just get comfortable and hope that you are able to take something out of what Shearling is saying for us because he brings through guidance as well. Okay, so the Crystal Skull Conclave, in case you're not aware, um, Crystal Skull Conclave are a consciousness, similarly to the angels and the elementals and star beings, they are a collective consciousness. They don't actually require a physical forum uh, to be communicated with, but they choose to reside since the 13 famous skulls of Atlantis when we sort of densified our, solidified our energy and became 3D on Earth. So the Crystal Skull Conclave chose to reside within, so it's a group of beings, a collective beings within the Crystal Skulls. And obviously nowadays there are lots of modern carved skulls and Shearling is a modern carved skull. Uh, we became his guardian in 2004. And it's been with us 12 years. And their consciousness, it's like different facets. So, like Archangel Michael, you call on upon him for protection. Archangel Raphael, you call on him for um, healing. Zadkiel, Violet Flame, transformation. Each crystal skull is unique, individual in their speciality. So Shearling is primarily an earth healing skull or a Merlin consciousness working skull, but he's a very powerful healer as well. So we will begin his channeling now and I just allow him to speak through me using my clear cognizance, okay, and telepathic abilities. So be him using my voice. <sighs> Greetings, greetings, greeting. I am the crystal skull known as Shir Ling. It is an honour to come forth and to communicate with you on this special day. The start date of your Gregorian calendar, 2023. This year brings forth many interesting astrological alignments and also many gateways opening upon the earth. I, as my channel has informed you, specialize in supporting earth healers, wisdom keepers, 
and activate me. In their mission, I bring forward these forecasts to support all, however, this period on earth has been challenging indeed for you, but the energy lightened to 2023. This is the year of authenticity, the year of self-acceptance, the year of inner alignment with the truth, anything that is out with your soul truth, will be brought up to be shone in your face. And it'll be your choice whether to step onto the pathway, to jump on the bus, into the fifth dimensional trajectory. Many of you, of course, have been preparing for seventh dimensional conscious living. But for the majority, the gateway is opening now to fifth dimensionality. And of course, many will stay in third dimensional form, stuck in their bitterness, stuck in their fear, stuck in their hurt, stuck in their anger, stuck avoiding taking responsibility for their action. Many humans are trapped in a cycle of victimhood, in a cycle of addiction and vices to alleviate their inner pain. But this inner pain, this is your choice to create this. No one can inflict pain upon you. Yes, physical pain, of course, can be inflicted upon you. Yet, many of you are trapped in self-punishment. Take time, particularly in the first three months of this year in the lead up to the spring equinox, to really look at what you're avoiding facing, where you are giving your power away, and to who too. Many of you live your life under conditions set by others, out of obligation, out of following others' agendas rather than standing up for yourself, honouring your intuition, speaking your truth. 98% of humanity are still connected into the fear grid and reside within that. The further dismantlement of the fear grid on earth takes place on the 8th of May, 2023. This powerful portal around the Beltane moment allows you to have this period of inner reflection. You have five months, four and a bit, to really take the time to look at where you are trapped into this grid and to look at your projections onto others of your own agenda. This period from the winter solstice of 22 in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, summer solstice in the Southern Hemisphere, up until the June solstice, is time to really reflect within, to make choices, to bring in change. For any area you are happy, it is only ever an illusion that you are trapped. The power of prayer, the power of divine request, the power of asking for assistance, is now. I would advise humanity to start a daily prayer ritual. Now the word prayer has been hijacked by many religious orders which may cause some of you to recoil. 
So may think of it as an invocation, a request to divine source. Life force permeates through your matrix. For you will know this, the few of humanity understand this. The key to healing is love. This is the ultimate frequency. And yet, looking at the consciousness of humanity, 97% have not yet mastered the divine art of love. Yes, there is self-love, but I am referring to universal, unconditional source love. Take a moment to go into the molecules consciousness of your body. Now, if you are a regular meditator, someone who is able to still the mind, open the heart, journey through your third eye chakra. You know how to connect with your molecules. For those who are not quite at this stage on their ascension path yet, start with visualisation or intent to connect. Through intention, connection occurs. What would it take for you to flood every cell of your body with love? What comes up for you? As you do this, how self-aware are you of your consciousness? of your frequency. What are your blocks to self love, unconditional love? Breathe into those blocks. Whatever colour for you, love manifests as. Many of you hold anger at the masculine. Whether you're masculine or feminine in this incarnation, this is the biggest block. Humanity is holding at this time. Brought through light language activation. But we'll start to unravel this within your matrix. For the universe will continue to present to you situations for you to be angry till you release them and return to the love within. On a predictive level regarding this year. There will be a tide of change in the consciousness of humanity. The old patriarchal world orders will start to break down. They will start to unravel. 
you are being asked as healers to visualize Mother Earth held in a ball of love. Daily, with the intention when you remember, to break down the old patriarchal structure. There will be not only great change in the consciousness of humanity, but a great outpouring of grief. Events in the world will precipitate this. How this manifests into physical form is yet unclear. But just be aware to process your own inner grief and sadness prior to the equinox in March. This stands you in good stead for what is to come. Increased flooding, water disasters, as the emotions of Mother Earth break forth. For many of you, this is the final push for the deep soul cleansing. After the solstice in June, many galactic gateways open to the star Sirius B and also Arcturus. This will allow humanity and conscious light workers in particular to have access to new healing technologies, to have access to deeper understanding and truths. And to move out of your fragility on an emotional level into confidence, into creativity and into awakening joy. The latter part of this year is all about the joy codes. Being released from the heart of Mother Earth in August, Lamas Lugnasa portal time. This is the time of the great inner warrior, not coming out as the fighter, but coming out as the master, the master of enlightenment. And as you become enlightened within, in your heart. Life on earth changes. This may appear to be more a cryptic message than I have brought through before, but this is me speaking direct to your heart. And your heart has the answers and has the transmission. So journey on what this year holds. And you'll receive some perhaps unexpected knowledge. As always, it is an honour and a joy for me to speak forth. Adamant. Namaste. Well, thank you, Xu Ling, for this very powerful transmission. I have to sit and listen back to it. That activation really activated for me. So, yeah. We'll see what transpires. Of course, Shirling is one of the crystal skulls I work with for the group Crystal Skull Healings. We do these uh, once or twice a week. 
and all the details for them are, are on the website. We don't give much notice, just two or three days sometimes, so it's good to join my newsletter, elementalbeings.co.uk, or join us, Elemental Beings, on Facebook, or Alfidia underscore channel on Instagram, and you can keep abreast of the different healings available. And these are um, accessible for all. You just receive as a real-time energy transmission wherever you are in the world. We're in Scotland, but you would still receive the healing. So do, do check that out, elementalbeings.co.uk. And I hope you have a wonderful, Bob the Budgie has woken up now, a wonderful and blessed 2023. Namaste. <laughs>